We are live. We are live on this brunch day at one o'clock p.m. Eastern time. No matter what time it is in your area, come on in the room. You know what we always say, right? Bring your pads, your devices, your pencils, a couple of extra pencils and pens today, and a notepad because you're going to need it. You are going to need it. And when you hear from our special guest on today, hold on, I'm going to introduce her. How can we not? Oh, yes, yeah, she's our one and only coach there is. I'm telling you, the best of the best, the cream of the crops. And she doesn't like when we say good things about her, but we're going to give her her flowers while she is here with us. And we appreciate, adore her taking time from her busy schedule. But before we get into that, allow me to introduce myself to you just in case you do not know who I am. My name is Linda L. Robinson, AKA Worth Being Ologist, your visionary life coach. I am the proud owner of Worth Being Ology Group LLC, doing business as distribution platform for authors. And guess who got me there? Coach Vanessa <laughs> Collins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to. I'm going to give it to her whenever we go. And if we go in that direction, we're going to flow today. So bring your pad, your pencils, like we said, any device that you work, you're working with, you're taking notes on, and we are going to get started. We are going to get started. We have some questions that already, Coach, came in, but allow me to, to read, and I have it here on my notes because there's no way could I remember all of this. Our guest, Coach Vanessa Collins, foremost, she is an ordained minister, you all, daughter of Mama, and we call her Mama Jean Crosby, who she cares for, and married to the one and only Derek Collins. They are the proud parents of three, three wonderful, gorgeous, gifted, now adults. On top of that, Coach Vanessa Collins is the CEO of Vanessa Collins LLC, a certified digital marketing specialist. Wait a minute, I'm not done yet. She's a coach, an author, a publisher, speaker, and a leader of over, over how many years, Coach? Have you oh been in goodness. business? We have been doing this dance for about 15 years coming up next year. 15 years, you all. Take notes. She has the track record. She has the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> she has it all. To, she's proven. She is proven. And look, look at this. Hear this. Hear this. She has impacted the lives of over 2,500. Come on now. Now that that, that's a mic drop right there. 2,500. And that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. We all need to listen to Coach Vanessa on today and forevermore. And we will give you the information how you can stay connected to our coach. We'll share her with you on today and moving forward because you want to be in her community. Everybody, everybody needs a coach, Vanessa Collins, in their life. Thank you. We will get to a few questions, but I would like to say, Coach Vanessa, I remember when, and I'll make this very brief. I remember when you and I had our first conversation years ago. I do believe it was around... I've been here since 2016, so about maybe 2015, you and I connected before I got to North Carolina. And we had a conversation. My head, because of an, a head injury, I was all over the place. And my thoughts weren't right. The doctors were telling me, take a break. You need to rest your brain and so forth. And I said, no, no, no. I went through four 
coaches. They said that they were book coaches. They said that they had the records. They said, they said, they said. But the results in the proven history wasn't there. Now, me being in sales, I know when you're trying to throw a fast one on me. So when I met you, I will say to everyone, God sent you to me. He knew and he set all the others on the side by the wayside. But when he said to me, I don't know how you came about. Maybe I heard I fell upon one of your maybe presentations. I don't know how, but I do know this. We're connected and we will be connected for life. Yeah, you're stuck we, with me. <laughs> yes, and you're stuck with me. You're stuck with me, but I'm in a better place. It's not about me today, you all. I know, but I had to say that because no matter where you are in life, Coach Vanessa will meet you right where you are. Thank you. Now, I do want to emphasize she is all of the above. So if you miss what I said about her, just watch the replay. And we want to shout out hashtag replayers that will come back or come in and view this. View this because you don't want to miss not one minute of what Coach Vanessa will be sharing with us today. I will never, ever and can never repay you coach for what you have done not just to my life but to the many to the many that you are touching you. lives of throughout our community as well as the other communities people we do not see yes. so we thank you we thank you thank you and this is your first honorary but We'll get to the second one. We'll get to the second one because she's going to join us at the Matrix of Leadership Conference 2023, yeah. you all. And we're excited about that. So anything that you would like to add to your short bio before we get started? <laughs> well, I do want to shout out. I actually have four children. I have a bonus uh, he's not a baby. I can't call him a baby, but I have I have a bonus baby. So we do have four amazing young people and just so blessed. So blessed. Thank you so much uh, for shouting them out and just recognizing mom and hubby. Thank you so much for that, Linda. Well, thank you, coach. Thank you. You know, I I've watched them throughout the years. So <laughs> it's really crazy. You watch all these kids grow up and oh, yes, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. But you are a wonderful example as far as all of the your your credentials, your your aunt, whatever you do in life to help one another, being being a caregiver for your mom being the wonderful wife you are for your husband, being the mom for the children, for children, <laughs> and 2,500 in your community that you care for. No wonder you're so busy and we understand. <laughs> so let's dive in. You just go ahead and, and if you want to start wherever you want to start, but the first question we would like to know, and I know I, I'm one of those coach, you know, I, I'll, you know, I, I'm so excited to have you here, but how did your passion and journey as a certified digital marketing specialist begin? So it started out when, uh, and again, Linda, thank you so much for being here or for letting me be here. I am so excited to be, I'm at the table, y'all. I'm at the gifted table. I got to the table. And you're in <laughs> the hot seat. Yes, no, yes. It's, it's warm. Well, Linda, it, it started out when I started the publishing journey. So when I published my first book in 2009, I 
started this with the idea of just doing my books. I did not look at doing other people's books. This was something that I was going to do. And Linda, I got tired of saying no to money. And what I mean by that is after I published my book, um, people were asking me, and I tell authors this all the time, the number one question people will ask you once you have published a book has nothing to do with your book. The number one question people will ask you is, can you help me with my book? And when I first did this, my answer was basically no. Not, not, not no in a harsh way, but I didn't really have the confidence that I could help somebody else do this. But I did it for myself several times. And then I realized, hey, I can help someone do this. And we have helped, oh my goodness, we co-own two publishing companies. We do um, writing and publishing coaching. We have probably taken over 200 authors either through our publishing coaching or as individual clients. But at the beginning of that, I didn't understand how do I now take this passion stop leaving money on the table and dive into this whole world of digital marketing. And so when we're, you know, when you're looking at, I want to kind of take you back in a time capsule about 2012. Okay. So we're talking 10, 11 years ago, which in social media technology years is <laughs> like a hundred years ago, uh, all these things started coming up, you know, Facebook and, and all of these different platforms and email marketing, although email had been around for a long time, just how do you use this as a business owner, as a small business owner? And so I connected with digital marketer, uh, Ryan Dice, I always uh, give a shout out to him. And uh, I remember uh, this gentleman, my first challenge that taught me how to use some digital marketing platforms, Ed Dale. Uh, I did some of their programs and I was like, okay, I, I, I can do this. Okay, I can do this. And so as I was learning that information, the same question came back. And what I mean by that is the same question people asked me about my book, which again, remember, had nothing to do with my book. It was, can you help me with this? The same question started coming with the digital marketing. Can you help me? use digital marketing in my business. And so I ended up taking a certification program under Digital Marketer. Uh, we were certified in 10 different areas. Linda, I tell you, it was a long process. It was, uh, we we're talking about over 80 hours worth of videos and we had quizzes and we had a test and we had like a final project that we had to get a certain percentage on in order to get certified. It was like being back in school, uh, but we did it and it was amazing. And so that is how I started that journey uh, to becoming certified as a digital marketing strategist. Wow, wow. That is so awesome. And you have a background as as a as an engineer? engineer. Yes, yes. So my degree is in chemical engineering. Uh, shout out to Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. Uh, I worked in that area for 13 years. 
uh, with Amoco Oil Company. And you got to be old school to remember Amoco. <laughs> old school, old school. But yes, I worked for Amoco Oil Company uh, as a chemical engineer, an environmental engineer, uh, did project design type stuff. So yeah, that 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 was my corporate area but linda next year i am celebrating 25 years away from corporate america wow Yay. <laughs> i got the clapper i got That's the clapper clap for 25 yeah. years <laughs> oh my god that is awesome that is awesome. And thank you for everything that you, you, you do in life you've done in the past. And then you brought some of those, the experience into the presence and look at God using your gifts and your talents, whatever you've learned there. Now we feel that you're still using your, your engineer background to when you, when you work with us, you dissect <laughs> you died. Reverse engineer, yes. Absolutely. You died deep and wide, coach. You take us in and you make us, and I love, I love your motto. We are not to leave money on the table. And you remind us constantly, yes. you know, don't leave it on the table. And if you see me doing some things different for the conference, you know, I'm thinking of you and we'll talk about monetizing and leveraging. Yes. Unless you want to get into to that now or how do you want to flow? Well, we'll but talk a little do, bit about it. We'll talk a little bit about it now. Okay. What, one of the things that I want your listeners to think about, and this is just, um, you know, again, not so much my motto, but just a passion that I have, especially for women over 50 who have, you've done a lot of work, you have a lot of experience, you're looking at retirement. And back in the day when we were in our 20s, we were told, you know, get that good job. And if you got that good job, when you got to retirement, you would be taken care of. Well, for most of us, that plan didn't work out quite the way we thought it was going to work out. And so you may have found yourself, you know, having multiple jobs or, uh, or having times where you weren't necessarily working for someone else. You may be doing your own thing. And now you're looking at retirement and we're kind of looking at it with a side eye going, mm, wait a minute, <laughs> what, what's going on here? And so I really, I have a passion for helping women over 50 take that knowledge that they have, take that experience that they have and I joke about printing money with your experience and with your knowledge and not leaving money on the table, not um, understanding your worth. And I got to shout out Coach Danielle Winningham for really teaching us about understanding our worth. And uh, even when Coach Jacqueline Turnbow talks about that mindset shift that you need from employee to entrepreneur, there's so many, we're in such a special time, Linda. And I know for, uh, for you, you can appreciate this with all the experience you've had, particularly in the sales arena, because we know that for business, sales is the bloodline of the business. That, that's, that's your bloodline. And so for many of us who are in business and we're excited about what we do and how we're going to change the world and all of this, but we are not excited about marketing. We are not excited about sales. We will tell you we don't like sales. We don't like asking people for money. Well, that means we don't like being in business. Hello. 
<laughs> exactly. But when you think about just the evolution of marketing for a business, uh, and Linda, I'm sure you can attest to this, that, you know, back in the day, if you wanted to make sales in your business, you had to have that Rolodex. You had to, you know, get out in the real street. Who remembers a Rolodex? Let me see you in the chat if you remember. Yes, I would like to see it too. <laughs> remember that actual Rolodex. Uh, the marketing strategies were so different. And now we have new strategies uh, and there's so many things that can now be used to supercharge those strategies. So I'm so looking forward to the Matrix of Leadership Conference because we are going to be talking about using AI to supercharge your digital marketing. So let me let me put a pin there and, and let's talk about AI for a minute. Uh, and I would love to see in the chat. I'm going to come back and look at the chat. So I, I want to see your answers in there wherever you are watching this. OK, so wherever you're watching this, put this in the chat. Uh, I want to know how are you feeling about AI? Ooh, I want to know just. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Let's be truthful. Let's have a truthful conversation because I will tell you for me, although I'm super excited about using AI for digital marketing and we love chat GPT and, and all of that, uh, it, it, it puts a little concern. You know, it, it's a little, it's interesting. It's a little interesting here. Uh, particularly for those of us who grew up uh, in that area, that pre-technology area, uh, when we remember, uh, you know, when we had dial-up modems and we remember life before being able to look everything up on the internet, uh, I remember, and Linda, I was going to ask you, I remember being in school, uh, reading uh, Orwell's book, it was in uh, 1984, something like, I forgot trying to remember the name of the book, uh, but it was, it was written, I want to say like back in the 50s or 60s or something, uh, you know, it was an earlier book and it was looking at, you know, this new world age of the 80s and 90s and how you know, you would be in your, you could be in a room talking and other people would be able to hear you. Uh, and now, you know, that's not a big thing. We, we privacy stuff, we, we all understand that when you speak, when you put, when you speak into some type of device, when you put something on some computer, when you take pictures, Things are in the cloud and things never seem to die in the cloud. So we understand that in terms of privacy. Now, as we're getting into AI, we are looking at some interesting, this interesting platform that, you know, Linda, let's be serious. For some of this stuff, it's hard to tell the difference between what was produced by human hands hello and what's been produced by artificial intelligence it's amazing uh, coach it's amazing it is. it is it's absolutely amazing um so i want to just encourage you guys especially those that are looking at this and uh, you may be looking at it a little fearfully um, one, to understand that we don't operate in fear. No. Uh, and this is a tool. And this tool can help you do some amazing things with your digital marketing. Uh, for my community, I'm often reminding them that as we get these new tools, 
these tools are going to hammer away at their excuses. So you have no excuse now why you can't do your email marketing or why you can't pull your webinars together or why you can't get your book done or why you can't take that book and turn it into an online course. You have amazing tools available. Don't be so afraid of the tools that you don't get the work done and you don't show up for yourself so that you can you can be prosperous in your business i like that i like what you said about do not walk in fear because we're fearless and we must use the tools and thank god again for you just every time you you ex, you go in you dissect this new technology and then you say, hey, y'all, who's available to meet? I want to share. And it's not like you you don't meet with us once in a blue moon. You meet with us every time. It, it could be three, four times a week. You stay in close contact with the people in your circles and you're easy. I, well, let me just backtrack because I don't want people to start thinking because of what I'm saying that they can call you anytime during the day. She does have a calendar and I'm going to put that calendar up in a minute. But before I go any further, I want you all to understand what she's talking about, Coach Vanessa is talking about, I am beyond the 50 range, okay? However, <laughs> yes, it is scary. Yes, it, you know, but we do not. When we take a hold of the gifts that are already inside of us, the power that we have to get wealth, what better way? than to have a coach like Vanessa Collins to walk with you, to talk you through. And I'm telling you, she delivers above and beyond. I've never seen, I, sometimes I wonder, I, I scratch my, my well, I get to my scalp, I scratch <laughs> my head. And I said, how in the world? But nobody but God is using her and downloading in her so that she can download and share because she can't keep all this information bundled up inside of herself. She has to share it. And we can never pay her for her time, for her energy, for her efforts, for her wisdom and knowledge. And before I go any further or we go any further, we just want to see who's been waiting in the wing here to say hello. And look at there, the one and only. Yay, Coach Jackie. Yay, Coach Jacqueline Turnbow. She says, good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon to you as well. And she also, oh, nobody but Coach Jacqueline will share. She shared the link so that others can be just know that we're here. We're here live, you all. We are here live. And just in case you missed the live, no worries. We will definitely post it in the chat so that you can take a look at it. And she says she's just stopping by. Well, thank, thank you. you for stopping by. And we're going to allow Coach Vanessa to talk a little further about AI. And then after she tell us a little bit about AI and we have a couple more questions, we'll, we're going to take a commercial break. But go with it, Coach Vanessa. Share with us about this AI. It is, it's <laughs> like you mentioned, you mentioned Pac-Man, you know, back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day. So one of the things that I really want to encourage um, business owners to do as they are looking at AI, again, again, one is understanding that this is a tool. 
And this tool can help you with your marketing strategy. The tool is not the marketing strategy. It can help you with your marketing strategy, which means you have to have a marketing strategy in place in order to use these tools. Now, the strategies haven't changed a lot. The way we do it may have changed, but the strategies haven't changed a lot. If you're in business, you have to get in front of people that have the problem that you solve and are willing to pay for that solution. That is the bottom line of business. That has not changed. How AI can help you with that is AI can help you get in front of the people AI can help you define the problem that you solve. It can help you package that problem or package that solution, I should say, in a way that will help your people. Uh, and it can help you facilitate payment uh, for those solutions. Uh, one of the things I was sharing with Linda was when, when I think about AI and supercharging your digital marketing. How many of you guys remember playing some of the old school video games like Pac-Man or Super Mario Brothers? Uh, for our family, we were a big Super Mario Brothers family. We played, I think, probably in our basement, we probably have every version of the video game consoles all the way back to the Segas that had the, you know, the big little blocks that you put in. One of the things that was part of the game was as you go through your journey, whether you're going through as Mario and you're trying to, you know, save the princess, as you go through your journey, there were power ups that would help you along the journey. These power-ups helped your own ability. So they may make you faster, they may make you stronger, they may make you bigger, but they were there to help you accomplish the goals. AI is very similar in terms of uh, digital marketing and just other things that you can use it for. AI can help you get things done faster. Uh, it can help you appear stronger, kind of show up stronger, have, have more depth into some of the things that you're putting together. It is a tool. It can help power you up to do the things that you need to be doing in your business. But the thing is, you still have to show up. Now, just like with the video games, if Mario got rolled over by a boulder, the power-ups didn't help. You have to be alive in the game in order to use the power-ups. So although we are talking about using AI for your digital marketing, I want to really encourage you uh, to show up, okay? you still have to plan those webinars. You still need to sit down and figure out as we are into the third quarter of the year at the time of this recording, what are you doing for the rest of the year? How are you going to generate revenue in your business? How are you going to show up to help your existing clients? How are you going to show up to get more clients. One of the biggest misconceptions that I find that a lot of my clients have is the idea that they have to always be finding new clients. And that is a part of it. You got to get in front of new people. You have to find new clients. But there's a lot of money you are leaving on the table when you are not servicing your current clients in some of their new problems. 
And for me, that is how a lot of my business growth has happened because the clients that I started with had a problem in one area. We solved that problem and then there was something else they wanted to do. And I found that, hey, that's something I could learn and I could help them do. So I want to encourage you uh, as you are sitting down this afternoon, spend some time looking at your business. I want to challenge you to brainstorm 10 ways that you can serve your current clients and 10 ways you can serve new clients. What are some new problems you can solve? And remember, as entrepreneurs, we are paid for solving problems. That is what we get paid for. So what new problems can you solve? Then that will give you a, a foundation to develop a framework for your strategy, for a new product, for a new service that you can put out there. And once you have that, there are some amazing tools, some amazing AI tools out there that can help you. Again, it's helping you with your strategy, but you got to have the strategy and you have to show up. Wow, wow, wow. Strategy, show up. I heard analyze your current clients and focus on how you can keep or main utilize that's the word utilize yeah. the power of ai to gain new clients and use the same power of it's it makes it easy for us to do and you tell us all the time what excuses do we have? There's none. I mean, when you introduced AI, I, I went like this. I hope she doesn't call my name today because if I can do it, coach, I would say, and I always say anybody can do this, no matter what your age is, and just take it one step at a time. So that's what? another thing, Linda, I'm so glad you brought that up because it's so easy to get overwhelmed. Yes. And you have to understand, you, you don't have to master everything and you don't have to master it all at once. Figure out, pick one thing and figure out how to use that one and then go to the other. You know, again, like with social media platforms, there are so many different ways to show up on social media. And there's this pressure that you got to do it all. Like I need to be doing reels and I need to be doing YouTube shorts and I need to show up this way and that way. Do not burden yourself. Ooh, and or burn get, out. And yourself. burn out and get overwhelmed. Yes. Figure out what works for you and work that. You know, Linda, the the analogy I use often is the TV remote control, the cable remote control. Now, how many of you, you know, the we we the over 50, over 60 crowd here. Now, I, now I'm in the 60 crowd here. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was the human remote control. We didn't have a remote control. We were the remote control. And when our parents wanted to change the channel, they didn't pick up a little box, whatever. They would call you. I don't care where you were. They would call you. You'd have to come in from whatever room you were in to change the channel. Yes. Uh, now, you know, and, and then, you know, other things started happening. Then we got TVs with remote controls. And then we got to the cable boxes and all of this. And so now we have this cable remote control. And I want you to take a look at your remote control. The next time you are sitting at your television, look at your remote control. And I want to challenge you 
to think about there's a bunch of buttons on here that you don't use. But it doesn't overwhelm. You don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed and not watch TV because you don't know how to use all the buttons. You so figure cool. out the buttons that you need to use. You know how to turn it on. Mm -hmm. You know how to change the channel. You know how to turn the volume up and down. For the most part, those are all the buttons we use. <laughs> Although there are probably 30 other buttons on that remote control. Learn the buttons that you need. So you may not know how, you may not be doing reels and TikTok and all of this other stuff. Do the things that you know to do. Work on those things. So you may need to be working on doing webinars right now because you need to get out in front of more people. So you need to learn how to do that. In getting in front of more people, you it now may be time for you to look at doing Facebook ads. You need to look at doing that. That doesn't mean that you have to figure out how to do Google ads and this one and that one. And I need to get a thousand followers on TikTok so I can go live on TikTok and live on Instagram and, and all of this. Grow into that. Don't get overwhelmed. That's good. That's good. Thank you for elaborating on that because it's very easy with everything. And, you know, the voices that we are hearing and what we're seeing on social media, it's very easy to get caught up and sidetracked, distracted, yeah. and blind by what we should be focused on, making money, keeping a roof over our heads, our family head, building that legacy, yeah. and just thinking about, okay, how I can, how can I satisfy my clients yes. yes provide the proper service yes to them to stay in to build relationship to stay in communication with yes. them we have enough to be concerned about so take those reels or if you're thinking about even if you're doing reels i'm not all 100 percent on reels coach but you know, I'll, every now and then I'll drop one. Absolutely. And, you know, because, you know, I am experiencing, you yes. know, experimenting on yes. what is in front of me. Yes. And I'm not one to keep up with the Joneses. I'm, I'm not, that's not me. I do the best that I can do because I do burn myself out. I do get to the point that I say, and I share with you as well as Coach Jacqueline, I need a nap. I, I can't do Listen, this. Listen, naps are good. <laughs> naps are good. Afternoon naps. <laughs> a break or a vacation. A vacation. Yes. And speaking of vacation, we're going to, we, we have some shout outs in the comments. So I want to give honor here to those who have taken time and we would like to say, here's Coach Jacqueline. She said, what? Hashtag power up. You mentioned power up. And she placed it in the comments so that we can always keep in the forefront about powering up to AI, powering up to the things that we need to do to keep our business rolling. And Coach, would you say that a lot of these things, even if they're not in business, they can use in their personal development, in, okay. you know? Absolutely. I mean, you can use AI is just amazing. It, it really is. I'm having so much fun with ChatGPT. But Linda, you know, I'm a Marvel head. I love the Marvel movies. And so when I get in AI, I get in my Tony Stark, I'm talking the Jarvis type thing. 
And you can use, again, this is a wonderful tool. It's so many ways you can use this tool. Now, back in the day, which when I say back in the day, it's probably less than 10 years ago, you know, when Siri first came on board, when Alexis first came on board, you know, first we thought, oh my goodness, that's weird. That's crazy. Now, when we get in our cars, we're always talking to Siri or Alexis or whatever, you know, give me directions to this and turn off the lights and, and, and whatever. Play the music. <laughs> Play the music. Exactly. Exactly. So now you can even help with a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff that you're doing. If you're trying to be healthier and you want some meal planning, you Ooh. want some recipe ideas, ChatGPT will give you some amazing, amazing ideas. Now, I want to caution, though, when you are using any of these platforms, you know, again, it's being computer generated. I'm not saying use it for medical purposes <laughs> or nothing no. like that. Uh, but if you are looking for, you know, I want some low carb meals, try using some of the AI technology. Now, the thing from Google, I mean, of course, you could Google that as well. But when you Google, you're looking, Google is like a phone book. So Google goes and pulls up everybody's article and ranks it in a certain order. And it's like, okay, if you're looking for low carb meals, here are places that have those. And then you can click on each one to look at it. ChatGPT will look at the information it's been fed and it will spit out information for you. So you don't yes. have to go searching. But again, it's a tool and we want to use our tools responsibly. That is so good that you share that because I use, I use not only just for meal prep, as you said, but I use it for anything and everything in business. And then, you know, if you want to know more about chat GPT, here's the information on the screen. You can have a conversation with Coach Vanessa at talkwithvan.com. Or you can also email her. Go to her website if need be. Do what you need. Come on social media. She She's all over social media. She's on. You'll find me. You'll find me. Tell, tell, tell them you're you're not only on Facebook, but where else are oh, you? Oh, you you can find if you look up Vanessa Collins, you will find me on Facebook. You'll find me on Instagram. You'll find me on LinkedIn and Twitter. But I will tell you the easiest way to contact me is to send me a message on Facebook Messenger. That is the quickest and easiest way. Linda, I'm even going to jump out there on threads. I, ooh, oh, we have to talk. We have to talk. Yes. Yes. This whole, again, this whole marketing, social media, it changes so much. So for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you may have heard about it already, but if you haven't, uh, Facebook, Meta, Instagram, Mark has gotten into the Twitter type platform space. So wow. Threads is a new alternative to Twitter. You can connect with Threads from Instagram. So if you download the, the Threads app and you can download it, you know, on any of your smart devices, when you log in, you log in through Instagram. That's all I know about it. I just downloaded it. I haven't played with it at all. There just, again, there's just so many things happening. Don't get overwhelmed. I was okay. about to say. 
don't, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed. Listen, if you're like, you know what? I don't have time for nothing else. I would rather you work on your upcoming webinar as opposed to jumping on threads. So if you got a choice <laughs> between work on your stuff to get more clients, yes. but yes. if you have a few extra moments and you want to see, you know, what's new out there, check out threads. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing that valuable information and stay tuned. And we will be following you when you post in the groups and, you know, Coach Vanessa have quite a few groups under her belt. Okay. Like I said earlier, she has the record proven record and the receipts. So she's, she's not jive talking you all. She, she's about helping others. It's not about the money because she over delivers it. She's not about the money collecting and so forth and paying her bills that comes, that comes after she satisfied her clients. And trust me, once you talk to coach Vanessa, you will be hooked. You will be hooked. So get ready, get ready and be ready because she's going to make you ready in every area and aspect of your life to better improve. You said that you want to be in business. You said this. We didn't say it. You said you want a business. Okay. If we had Coach Jacqueline on here, don't get her started. <laughs> no. Yes. Listen, but, I have to give a shout out to Coach Jacqueline, uh, because in this whole thing of business, yes. you need an accountability partner. You yes. need someone that's going to push you. Even if you know the stuff to do, you still need that help. You still need that encouragement. Many of us are first generational entrepreneurs, meaning that we didn't grow up with uncles and aunts and moms and fathers who own businesses and taught us the entrepreneurial way. We grew up with people that worked jobs. And as Jackie will tell you, there is a very different mindset from an employee to an entrepreneur. So you need an accountability coach. And listen, I recommend connect with Jacqueline Turnbow. She is both of our accountability coaches and I get with Jack. Jackie is on my team. I get with Jackie every week. And listen, the reason why I'm able to show up as much as I am is because of the amazing team, Jacqueline, Joyce, Francesca. You got to have people that are going to be in your corner going to give you some accountability, going to call you out on your excuses tip and help you move forward. I like that. And yes, she's our accountability person. And like you always say to us, everybody needs a Jacqueline Turnbow in their Everybody. Life. Everybody. everybody. And we'll let you borrow ours for a little bit. Just but a little bit, little bit, little bit, just a little bit, bit because I have to get through this conference and speaking of the conference, <laughs> speaking of the conference, we would like to share what coach Jacqueline put together for, for you. And it may not be, we're not going to talk about the size. We'll just, you know, let it play and take its course, but you're going to be our not on, only an honorary but you are going to be a stage presenter at the matrix of leadership conference 2023 yes yes i am so excited oh. i am so so excited oh. and just so excited to connect with you guys so please make sure that you register, register now, go ahead and, and get that ticket uh, so that I can meet with you and, and see you hug your neck. And, you know, other than hugging and all that, we're going to be talking about your business. 
we're going to be talking about getting your stuff together. Yes. And I'm so excited because, you know, when we get together, little masterminds happen Ooh. and there is nothing. Although we love the online space and we love the stream yard and the Zooms and all of that, nothing takes the place of in person networking. Exactly. I totally mm. agree. I totally agree. And we are looking forward to everyone in your community, in my community, in Coach Jacqueline, in all the speakers community, Dr. Stephanie Hampton Cradle. And, yes. and, and then we have Coach, who else do we have? We have Coach- I know Laura's coming. Laura Henry Pugh. Yes. And yes. Coach Delroy Morgan. You know, we have so many coaches that will be presenting, whether on stage or in. Oh, let's not forget about our keynote speaker, Coach Bob Yates, who's going to speak on stage as well as a private luncheon. So we are really looking forward to October the 12th through the 14th. 2023, you see I'm doing the dance, right? And the water is behind me. Oh, yeah. And I would like to play a special announcement from our coach. And, yeah, we'll share her with you, Coach Vanessa Collins. Ready to take your digital marketing to the next level? Hey there, I'm Vanessa Collins, and I want you to join me at the Matrix of Leadership Conference 2023. Get ready for some mind-blowing insights, tips, and strategies on using AI to supercharge your marketing. Trust me, technology is advancing at lightning speed. Don't miss out. Grab your ticket now, and let's rock this amazing event together. See you there. Wow. Wow. And we will see you there and many, many others because we're all rocking this and monetizing, talking about monetizing and stretching. We all, and I do not have my stretch with me, but we're as concepts, strategies. Can you imagine when we all get together under one roof Oh yeah. that day? That day Super and for nice. three days, we're going to be together. But not only will it be a conference, but we'll have time to walk on the beach to go golfing, you know, and, and play tennis if you want. Or just <laughs> My hubby more. is bringing his golf clubs. Yes. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. You will have leisure time to spend with family. And even if you want to meet up with others, do not do not think that you're going to be there to network just in the group of people attendees there but the hotel is allowing us to reach out to anyone and everyone freely to have a discussion build relationship start a conversation like we're having right now coach right Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, guys, your next joint venture partner, your next big break could very possibly be in the room at the Matrix of Leadership Conference. So make sure you're there. Make sure you are there. Yes. And again, we will list now this this right here. I'll leave this up because this is Coach Vanessa's private link. So those that are watching the live or the replay, you want to write this down so that she can be in contact with you, follow up with you. And also if you, if you sign up coach, if they sign up as a VIP, we're not pushing it, but we will let you know that's front row seat. Yes, yes. Absolutely. That's front row seat. And, it, and you know, I won't say if. When we get to the point that we have the overflow, 
you don't want to end up in the overflow room because that it takes you away from you know overflows even at church you know when the overflow comes in they put you in another room you want to be right there up close and in person with coach Vanessa Collins with coach Bob Yates and the other coaches that will be speaking not only on stage but the workshops coach yes yes absolutely this is an amazing time for you to take the opportunity to not only be working uh, in your business, because we spend so much time working in our business. This gives us time to work on our business and gives us time to recharge and retreat and relax and connect yes. with those that can help us take that business to the next level. Wow, wow, wow. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. And as much as I love seeing you and being with you, I know you have other things to do other than spending your Saturday with Worth Being Ologist. But I must tell you, I love you. I adore you. I, I respect you. you. I honor you. And this is something that have been in my mind for the longest. Again, because you do so much for many, many others. Thank you so much. You deserve above and beyond. And God, God has you. God has you. He has your family covered. And you will never, ever go without or be lack of. Amen. Amen. Love you, oh, my love. That. <laughs> <laughs> love you. I, you know, mm -hmm. I, and I mean that. I, I really mean that because I, I wouldn't be with you if you weren't making a difference in my life as Amen. such as others, Amen. you know, you have, you have a track record. I'm talking 2,500 plus come on somebody. That's real talk right there. Love you. And thank you very much for your time. And we're going to sign off for now, but I know you're going to, I'm going to put you back in the green room, but you hold on, you know, because we're going to end this broadcast and we're going to say goodbye and thank goodbye. you to everyone that join us and we'll be watching the hashtag replay and we will place in the comments coach all your contact information so that they will have that as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank well, you. thank you and goodbye everyone. Mm -hmm. Be blessed, be safe. And we will be talking to you real soon. Stay tuned for others that will be joining the worth being ologists on the broadcast. Bye-bye for now.